guys, this is Money Merrill Tech back with another review. Today we'll be going over VRS design. I picked up four different cases for your Samsung S24 Ultra. And we're, we're going to get into it. Before then, if you haven't yet, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and let's, let's start the review. All right, guys, so your first case you hear is VRS design. That's your Glide Ultimate. All right. This one comes with two different colors. You got matte black and khaki. Price on this one is $35. Okay. So this one also comes with a little um, key lantern and stuff. So VR design. Okay. Little clip for your keychain. And so I'll also probably use it for your phone as well. Right down here if you wanted to. Okay, and this is the case. All right, so this feature a four car holder. So, got some older gift cards, some main event car, Walmart car gift card stuff. Put this in here. All right, like so. You see it on the back, not going. So it says four. I'm gonna throw in another Walmart gift card. See what's throwing in there. See what happens. It took five, so but it said the limit on here is four. So I got five cards in here. I mean, you know, the average person probably carry, you know, a, you know, your your wallet, you know, your ID, and maybe a debit card and a credit card. So, you know, that would be perfect perfect in this, as you see. There's no way for it to come out, which is pretty cool. And we'll go ahead and slap on the phone. All right. Sorry. Phones on, so there's no way for it for it to come out. So check it all around. The mechanism for the um, car holder is actually pretty solid. You know, very click, very clicky. It'll take a little bit of effort. You know, get a little push right here. And go right back. So you actually got to fully close it or fully open it for it to open. Okay, all right. Then down here you have must be your limb protector, also camera limb protection. Okay, so on this right here, pretty thin. Um, I mean, you got a bump here, so if you drop it like this, you'd be fine because your your car holder part is blocking it. But right here is pretty thin and stuff. The body definitely more bulky, definitely more bulkier than your average case. And then you also have a bigger lip down here. So I don't know if I like, if I like that or not. Um, get your S pin, you know, it's pretty deep. Right here, cut up, cut open so you can cut, it is cut open, uh, cut open right here so you can be able to get to it faster. But just the fact that you have like an extra, you know, inch or so on the bottom of the chin of the phone, I don't, I don't feel, I feel like I like that part, that part. The protection part around it is good. I do have a screen protector on my phone. On the phone, so it is definitely good. Buttons are clicky and stuff. So, but if I were to say a negative thing about this one, it would be the chin and this very thin limb protection, and also it must be double as a kick kickstand as well. So, I'm pushing on a little bit. Not a, the best kickstand, so I don't know about that one as well. It would be a kickstand. So, you know, all right. So this is, is your ultimate uh, Glide Ultimate Glide Pro. So this one's called the Glide Pro in, in black. You also have this one also in, in a khaki, um, khaki brown, which is Cody Brown and stuff. Price on this one start off at $23. Okay. So it's kind of similar to the other one, the Glide Black. Um, like ultimate glide feature a um, four card four car holder on the back same mechanism to open and close take a little effort to open and close go ahead throw it on the back of the phone the difference between this one is that this one don't have a limb protection on it so 
you got pretty much the same layout. You still got it. Oh, chin, chin down here, inch of chin. The protection on this is different, a little more different than the other one. So this one is a little bit more, you know, you know, thinner on top. So I feel like if you drop this on your screen, you might be over with. And then you cut out for your cameras open and stuff. So you definitely would need to put a ring, um, camera ring, um, protection ring on it. If you want nothing guarding it, but pretty much the same mechanism, still a little bit bulky, especially down here on the bottom. You have it, you add another another inch to the phone. So this here is your um, Glide Pro for twenty three dollars. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, your next one is the same style as the other one, but this one's called the Glide Dual Guard. Okay, Glide Dual Guard. This is also in black. Also got it in. Khaki, which is also known as Cody Brown. Okay, price on this one 26 bucks. Same concept. You can throw four up to four cards in here. So same thing. Okay, pretty much the same, almost. Okay, inch on the bottom, guard in the back. Pretty steady. Protection them for your camera lens. Supposed to be as a kickstand, but very thin so i don't i don't know if i trust that or not but it must be kicks down and stuff so for 26 bucks this one was 22 bucks without the protection and then this one was 34 bucks now i don't know about you but what's the big difference between this one and this one they're the same. Only thing I see different in my eye view is the back is a little different, and the bottom of it is different. Yes, yeah, so they both still have an inch bottom on the bottom, but this here is more cut out. So I didn't show you the other one, but for this one, it's more blocked off. Where this one has a little cutouts on the bottom to get you to your um, Type C speaker grill and S Pen. This one, you barely got enough to get your S Pen. So that's a no for me. Your speaker grill is really deep. That's a no for me. And then your Type C is deep, which is a no for me. Okay. All right, guys. So the last case we have here is your VRS Design Terra Guard Ultimate. Okay. Now, if some of y'all don't know, I was for, I was military, and you know, if you're military, you will know when you see brown and green. You automatically get the thing in your head where you want it. Okay, I don't know how to explain it, but if if you're a veteran or you're in the military, you know then you know. Okay, so first thing I saw, and I'm gonna show you what I what I seen too. This on Amazon. Okay, I was so excited that this case looked very nice, high speed. Okay, All right, that's what I saw. Okay, also supposed to feature MagSafe. So I'm, I'm gonna show you what I what I seen. And then we'll give you my opinion about it, okay? So the first thing I saw was this. Now, this looked badass, all right? But as you've seen so far, as we've been going through a review, this right here is cheap plastic. I don't like that. I want something to protect my camera. I want to protect my camera, okay? And then I'll turn around, okay? I see the MagSafe back here, but where is it going to the back? So do, do it even work? All right, so okay. So before then, before I did put in put a, the case on my phone, I twist a little bit, you know, test the quality, and look at this. The MagSafe ring is already coming off the case, brand new case. It is barely twisting. So yeah, I already know that me putting this case on my phone is not gonna be not gonna be doing that because clearly my phone's not gonna be being like that. But if it's coming off like that with a simple twist and turn and you don't have a secondary max safe built in the case like some like the other companies have like esr speaking um suitcase you know subcase and so, subcase and then that's a no-no all right so yes it does work with max safe okay like if we're going to offer max safe make sure the quality of the max safe put on there or it, have this part em, embedded 
into the case, but don't just slap on a ring of magnets and call it a MagSafe. Yes, it works because it sticks to your phone with a MagSafe going onto it, but over time, this is going to end out your pocket. This being used on different MagSafe, MagSafe, you know, products, accessories like, you know, MagSafe chargers, your MagSafe, um, you know, car mounts and stuff. This will over time come off. The adhesive is already not strong, so you shouldn't have to put adhesive on it. You should have to put glue on it. To make sure it don't go off. Okay. But overall, the feel of it is nice. It's still a bit bulky. The edge of it is nice. And stuff. It's just don't have the inch lip here, which is nice, probably because they don't offer the wallet portion, but it's okay. At first glance, it looked badass, but when, after I started doing the review, and I noticed this right here, and noticed this here was, wasn't good, automatically it said no. Okay, but overall, the concept of this case and the concept of all the cases are a good concept, but they could have did a better execution of it so overall it may it may work for you okay the car the, the concept of the car holder having four cars in your wallet amazing idea okay knowing that a camera of the s24 ultra is huge and trying to get the wallet to fit here you had to add on an extra inch of space down here okay i understand that that's fine however we're in we have different stuff where you can buy magsafe wallets to put on here but also don't give us a product where it's going to not be functional over time as time go by because that right there is also going not going to be beneficial so everything here i will leave leave down link below so overall that portion is good but i'll have to zonk the inch of the bottom of this and zonk the, the um, kickstand slash limb protection and zonk this portion right here, knowing that this is not integrated into the back of the case or integrated in the phone and that they put it on here and it's not even really secure. So over time, this will come off. So like, comment, subscribe, guys. I'll see you next review. See you next one. Peace.